y'all what's going on hope you have a wonderful day weekend okay hope you have an amazing weekend y'all we get right into it okay healing heart healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addictions yes y'all yes when engaged, yo, I can't make this shit up, y'all. Excuse my language. Engagement rings. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Twin flames. Yin, yang. Zen, balance, union, duality, coupling. Okay. Cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. The runner with a camera. So look, with the chaser behind it. Let me tell you something, what I'm getting here. Your person may have been in some type of entanglement with a soulmate. This was a karmic soulmate. This is why they ran from you. But this person could not stop thinking about you. This person has been going through an awakening process as they've been healing their heart and opening their heart. Now this person is on their way ready to chase you and praying that you don't run. All they do is keep thinking about you. They want reunion with you. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception. This is like Six of Cups energy. This person is ready to chase now. Okay, they look at your photos all the time. They think about seducing you, loving you, helping you heal your broken heart. They may not be telling you this while y'all still in separation, but they have been going through a major transformation and they are about to call soon. So the chaser, the runner is about to become the chaser. Um, but I feel like y'all both just need to surrender. Once y'all both surrender, then it's no more running, no more chasing. It's just only um, healing and loving each other and opening your hearts to each other and becoming your best selves with each other, helping each other grow. Because we got butterfly in energy that's metamorphosis. Somebody has gone through a major transformation. That means they are not the same way that they were. And yes, this is your person. For some of you, this is your twin flame. For some of you, this is your soulmate. What we got for healing heart? The page of cups, the knave of water is the page of cups. Okay, so this person has definitely been healing. <laughs> they definitely been healing. They also opened their heart up. This person is making a choice. They're choosing to come get your butt. And they may not be telling you or the world because they know it's a lot of dark entities around. And they don't want nobody to try to stop this new love that y'all about to share with each other. Ace of cups. Okay. They want to come in and heal this. They want to come in and make a choice that they want to make your offer you can't refuse. Okay, with this lover's card and this page of cups. They want to open up and express how much they love you at this point. Okay, they want to heal this. They know that they hurt your heart before. They heart got broken. Okay, they had to learn some lessons. What we got for engagement? What we got for engagement? They also recognize they was with a false twin. It was with a false twin. It was a karmic soulmate, but it seemed like their twin flame at that time because the person was mimicking your energy. What we got? Engagement ring. What we got for engagement ring? The emperor with the king of swords with the four of fire, which is the four of wands. Let me tell you something, okay? This emperor has finally found the clarity that they need to, to move towards this union, to move towards marrying you, okay? They're ready to take action. They have been in hermit mode for a while, working on themselves, working on their finances and stuff like that. But this person is very sturdy. This person had to get their money right so that they can afford this ring, so that they can afford y'all getting married. Even if y'all elope, have a destination wedding, whatever y'all choose to, this person has now found clarity on who they want with this king of air, the king of swords and the lovers. There's no doubt in their mind who they want. Twin flames, four of wands, 11, 11, okay? They want this with you. And regardless 
who've been doing moon magic or whatever type of other sexual magic and stuff like that that they've been trying to do on you and your person. None of that is working anymore. This person missed your lips so bad they can taste it. Mm -hmm. They want to taste you in every way possible. Like this person wants to love on you um, up and down. This is somebody who is a good father figure with this emperor. They could be a little older than you. Um, this is somebody who's highly intelligent with this king of swords. They're, they're very decisive. They know what they want. Could be an air sign, fire sign, Aries, Gemini, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, but I'm definitely getting big Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy as well. I'm telling you, somebody, whoever your twin flame is, y'all could both be fire signs or one of y'all could be a fire sign. Y'all got it in your chart real heavy. But somebody is ready to take action towards this union after have, after spending a lot of time with themselves. Hermit energy, okay? Learning to tame the beast within. But while they were in hermit mode, spending time with themselves and talking to God and the divine and trying to figure things out, they can't stop thinking about you. But a lot of their thoughts were of the past and... They needed to let that go. It was outdated, whatever they've been thinking about so long. It's time to let go of the past and embrace the now. Forgive yourself from the past, okay? But this person is single. They are not in that soulmate connection anymore. They took action towards moving forward towards you and moving forward towards their healing and their transformation, okay? Eight of... Um, eight of pentacles they've been doing a lot of work on themselves they also been working hard stacking their money some of them could be a musician they could have been working on like while they was in hermit mode they could have been writing songs somebody could have even wrote you a song or you could have even wrote them a song some of y'all gonna be movie stars some of y'all somebody could want to act or sing. Stop it, Journey. Soulmate. What we got for soulmate? Uh-oh. Everything fell out. <laughs> the whole deck fell out. Look, the mirror card definitely fell out. So you guys mirror each other. Okay? Y'all mirror each other. I'm talking about right now... Like, whatever lessons that your person is learning, you may be learning it the same way or just a little different. But it's the same lesson. Like, for instance, a karmic soulmate could be trying to, or a soulmate could be trying to come in to connect with you or to tempt you. And you may, divine feminine may be like, no, I'm good. That uh, the same thing is going to happen for the divine masculine. And now it's up to him, them to, you know, recognize this pattern and to make better decisions for themselves. But you guys are mirroring each other. Y'all both love each other. How you feel, they feel. What you want, wants you to. Okay? And this person is willing to work at this. Somebody here could be a Virgo. It's under outdated thinking. Cassette. They could have left a Virgo or Earth sign. Yeah, this fire sign left a Earth sign. And they they had to work hard at getting out of that situation. At first, I feel like the karmic mirrored your person because, you know, they were reflecting low frequency. And you were mirroring to your person the things that they needed to heal within themselves and vice versa. You know, y'all went through feeling insecure and needing to heal your heart to finally doing the work and healing your heart and letting go of the past, whether it's people, places, and things, so that you can finally transform into that beautiful butterfly that you know that you're meant to be and shine and be your authentic self. This person loves your butt as well. They want to give back to you. They want to give back to you. Six of earth, six of pentacles. Okay, um, giving and receiving, this is 
finding balance and harmony and peace in this connection. Okay, but I feel like this person is finally looking in the mirror and realizing, you know, they haven't even been given enough to themselves. They were working so hard at giving to whoever this past person is that they lost themselves somewhere down the line. But I feel like you've helped them find themselves again. You've helped them find themselves. What else? Temperance. Somebody here is definitely an earth angel. It could be a Sagittarius. But this is somebody who is finally finding a balance within their life. Okay. Um, the veil is becoming lifted. It could be somebody still trying to be an illusionist and put a veil back over your person. But they have transformed too much. This is somebody who is imbalanced with their dark and their light. Their masculine and their feminine. Whole and complete on their own. Okay, it can go different ways. This could also talk about somebody from the past coming in to try to tempt you guys. And you can have a mirroring energy. That's for those of you who are um, can still be accessed. Cause some of you, you can't, they can't even access you. The people that want to try to come back can't even find you. But I feel like you've changed so much and you've healed enough. So that you won't fall back into those same old patterns. You and your person has changed and overcome a lot of things. Y'all didn't climb mountains. And now spirit is moving the mountains right out the way. There's nothing nobody can do or say to stop this connection. Y'all about to get engaged. This is your person. Your twin flame or soulmate. The person that you've been praying for. You could have always knew your whole life that you was meant to be with somebody like even if you was done dirty your heart was broken several times you never gave up on love now this person is ready to work hard for you they don't want you to be single out here they choosing you okay they already made a choice all right they said you're pretty as a picture they love your energy your person could be an actual artist and know how to draw or paint or whatever or tattoo or whatever but I feel like this is about to blossom into fruition in such a beautiful way you have no worries about anything at this time keep your focus on the positive things okay so say a prayer for yourself and your person be kind and gentle to yourself and your person namaste